Here's part two of my DVD update. We started with a collector's edition of Pumpkinhead. I've had this for a while and I wanted to show it in a, my last update, but I for, I totally forgot about it. This is one of Stan Winston's best movies, I think, in my opinion. And, uh, I don't know, it sucks that he passed away. But they put this out, I think, because of that, because of his death, and then they put this in, out in his honor or something. Um, this is the best release of Pumpkinhead. It's got a, a lot of special features, a lot of cool stuff, a lot of behind-the-scenes footage things, uh, theatrical trailer, and yeah, and it's in widescreen, finally, which is good. It's got some cool disc art. So if you don't have Pumpkinhead, grab this edition. Next one is Class of 1999. Um, this movie was really good. It was uh, a sequel to Class of 1984, which I didn't know until I read it somewhere. And it's got Stacy Keach and Michael McDonwell. Um, it's released by Lionsgate. Uh, no special features, widescreen, uh, I think it's HD, like mastered in HD and all that. Um, this movie was pretty good. It's about, uh, this school that has a bunch of gangs and they bring this new thing in. And it's got, like, robots as teachers and all that, but then they go crazy and start killing people. It's pretty good. Um, check it out if you've never seen it. The next one I haven't seen, but, uh, I've heard some things about it, and it's Hollywood Chainsaw Hookers, the 20th anniversary widescreen edition. It's been called the original Grindhouse Classic. Um... I don't know, I don't know much about this movie. If anybody can tell me if it's good or if it's bad or anything, just let me know. So I have kind of a heads up of what I'm what I'm looking at. And no, she's not naked, she's got a bra on, so next one is a re release and it's George A. Romero's Night of the Living Dead. This is supposed to be a really good version. Um, remastered and all that. Uh, it's got the last interview with Dwayne Jones. Played Ben in the original. Can't go wrong with this movie. It's a classic. I think it's one of my favorites of the three. But Dawn of the Dead is my favorite. But this is still good. Um, get this one. Out of all the releases that they have for it. Next one I have is another re-release, and it was the collector's edition of Last House on the Left. I don't really mind the cover art. I don't like it all that much, but it's okay. Uh, MGM released it. It's only got three new featurettes, I think. And then the rest of the stuff is all from the original disc. And I don't know why they did this, but it's recyclable casing, I guess. Which is stupid, because I don't plan on taking my DVD out and then recycling the case. And the remake of Last House on the Left was actually pretty good. I was surprised that it was so good. Uh, check this out if you've never seen it. The next one is uh, Scaris, A Ruthless Winter Nightmare from uh, Anchor Bay. I haven't seen this. All I know is that it's uh, three friends go on a snowboarding weekend, and there's, like, some cannibalistic rednecks out there, and they, like, find them and kill them and eat them, and, I don't know, that's all I know about it. But, uh, I've heard a few good things about it.
The next one I haven't watched neither. I haven't. I don't get a lot of time to watch movies. I guess is Jack Brooks Monster Slayer from Anchor Bay Entertainment with um, Robert England and Trevor Matthews. They're actually filming a second one, I think, soon, if not now. Um, I don't know. I heard it was a a funny horror movie. It's like a a mix between Hellboy and The Evil Dead. That's what some sites say. And my next one is Hellbound, Hellraiser 2, 20th Anniversary Edition from Anchor Bay Entertainment. Um, this has four, yeah, four new featurettes. And it comes with something really cool, too. There's the disc. Came with the original poster replica. Uh, and there's one more part to this update. And then I'm done. Which I'm going to go do right now. Okay, part three next.